Hey, 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 people! Are you ready for some kangaroo action? I'm gonna give it to you, not X. Well, in fact, it's gonna be Inca Una who will be giving you the kangaroo action as he has locked in Australian Defense Battle Group. And he is up against Alpern, who has locked in the Italian Combined Arms. Yes. Trotschutzen away! Two Royal Engineer opening here from Inca Una. Quick to get on the field, Cap. Prioritizing his cutoff point and then going for the fuel. Whereas Elpern here not bothering just yet with his cutoff. He's leapfrogging here. Letting the Kratschutzen leap over the cutoff point and go straight for the high point here. Followed by the fuel, I would presume, while the Panzergrenadiers pick up the slack. Dingo on station. Also have the Dingo. Anti-infantry, recon, detector, and very good versus light vehicles. Not so good at chasing light vehicles, but it, as you can see here by the stats, it has very good penetration considering that it's a small arms fire that it has not going for Versilieri, eh? they did get a discount uh, but no 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 not putting his faith into the Versilieri's Oh, yes, Australians. Looks like they just spawned on the map and... What a weird flag that they have there. Doesn't look like the Australian flag at all. Maybe if there's some history hot shots in the comment section that could tell me what this flag is. Huh. Anyway, Australians, eh? Tell me, mate. Tell me, mate. Did you come here to die? No, oh, mate. I came here yesterday. All right. Yep, I have a cat down here. <laughs> anyway, uh, 250 half track coming on up. Infantry are standing by to deploy. Uh, the 250 combined with a uh, Panzergrenadier squad can tango a little bit with the dingo, but it's gotta be careful when they dance. Infantry section trained and ready. Right then, who's it gonna be in with you? Not going for a flamethrower just yet. Hinkauna probably gonna be upgrading this infantry section squad that he has just trained to. Yes, there we go. Boys AG rifle. Good penetration versus well half tracks. Sure. Let's see here, Inkauna's royal engineer will survive. And back to the garrison. Oh, kangaroo down. The beggars are threatening a victory point. More infantry. Okay, what about Ilpern? We have a little bit of tech here. Light mechanized company is up. Victory point under enemy control. Hmm. What about Inca Una? The infantry section of Tommy's has been trained. No new tech since last time we looked, but we are getting there. The time when he can build his platoon command post. Oh, very low HP on these two men. Go get your green, get your green, come up! Or even take the high ground. Gonna give him a 25% accuracy boost. And a good change recent uh, that was made is height advantage no longer negates cover. Which uh, I'm very happy for. 
Oh, oh, Elpen is probably also very happy that his half track survived. Just about barely. <sighs> Alright, out you go. 4 HP. Yikes. Let's have a look here. Good map control for Inca Una, and he's building his what? Yeah, platoon command post. The Union Jack proudly sits on these crates. <laughs> Looks like we've got additional light AG two pounders. Mm -hmm. Two pounder call in and Elper, and he went with the heavy machine gun and now unlocking fire support elements. Stuart light tanks requisitioned. Stand by. Mm -hmm. Well, with the fire support elements, that means that he could call in a pack gun. But he doesn't. He calls in a leak. Okay, so what is his AT gonna be? Surely he must expect something from Inkauna. At least a Humber. But it's gonna be a Stuart. Sending reinforcements as and when needed. Arms away! Knock, knock! We're losing a victory point. Uh, can't go in here with the flamethrower. Too risky. And there are two boys there. Mm -hmm. We're losing a munitions point. Victory point is in enemy hands. There we go. Elpern locking in vehicle support and force app. recon. Giving uh, his infantry some good passives here they cap faster and they can see further when they're uh, near a vehicle that is not the Kratzutzen speaking of the Kratzutzen yeah that thing's still going Flame throw in for one of the royal engineers there we go a little bit of AT coming out for Elper now just in time as the steward is about to be completed on the assembly line and Kratzutzen just got disassembled in a brief lapse of concentration there for Elpern parking it in front of the royal engineers and boom when the Kratzutzen Now he realizes that there is a steward. Is the steward gonna trigger this mine? Yes, he did. And oh! <laughs> Sorry, guys. You won't be needed after all. As Inca Una just drove straight into the mine, caught a couple of snares, and bye bye, steward. A new battle group ability is yours to use. Yeah, he's got the supply truck here, which uh, I guess you can compare it sort of to the Age of Empires trade cart. You send this thing out to a resource point, let it gather resources, and then it'll slowly return to your base. And the longer away from the base it has to gather resources, the more resources you get when it returns. Unless your opponent decides to destroy the truck and steal the resources for himself. That's a very neat mechanic, I'd say. Anyway, auxiliary flare trip wires. Oh, hey, kitty. Enemy ground forces have He's a good boy. Such a good boy. We're losing yeah. a victory point to enemy action. We haven't seen the Australians build their defensive position, which is akin to the uh, Soviets' fighting position in Company of Heroes 2, with the exception that this large sandbags come with barbed wire, meaning that your opponent is less likely to uh, benefit from it. The beggars are threatening a victory point. Oh, hello. Dingo recon vehicle has been destroyed. Elpern. Look at that. 
combat half tracks here yeah both of them upgraded with the uh nine cannon we are losing a victory point to enemy action we've lost the sector to the enemy so yeah taking care of the dingo just victory like that very good and now a new steward is coming that should easily be able to deal with these half tracks as well the 20 millimeter cannon has the enemy has pushed us back from our sector poor penetration when you consider that it is actually a cannon steward's tank available on lend lease doesn't even do much against the greyhound so this thing here most likely exists to deal with ultra light vehicle spam from what i've seen the cannon does next to nothing versus infantry and as you can see here against even light armor it doesn't doesn't do much damage but again ultra light armor it's good good versus ultra lights australian infantry support is reporting in Now, if you're wondering the DPS on the Australian light infantry section here, how they compare to, say, a infantry section than the Australians, they do much more damage up close, but they can't compare. Well, can, but it's, they do poor damage at long range compared to the infantry section, which is also their strong suit, by the way, as they barely have any damage fall off over distances <sighs> oh here's someone who needs some refreshment but i doubt a pepsi can fix that infantry are standing by to deploy nevertheless upgrades let's go panzer free <laughs> he could actually use this oppression ability here <laughs> for for giggles <laughs> the enemy has claimed a sector No smoke or emergency repairs for Elpern just yet. We're losing a victory point. The enemy has 300 points remaining. We have a surplus of command points, Commander. The beggars are threatening a victory point just stalling here and there we are that's why he stalled Panzer Jäger is coming in trying to help out here getting at an angle but low HP on both squads now oh, I can see it right, Panzer free helping clearing up some of that green cover oh he get one up oh. Slight damage only. He retreated in time. Very good. I think did Inca win a tech? No, no company command post, but he got the field infirmary. <laughs> So yeah, it looks like Elpern's only upgrade from the armory is is the combat half tracks. It does not have the veterancy squad leaders upgrade either. Is Legus is still alive and will bothering his opponent? Almost dead one. Catch this! Very nice damage. 
Hmm, smoke, even he's moving in to capture this now. Yep, there we go. No, a oh, little bit of well, cover where they can't stay cloaked, but uh, it's not that much that they have available. And here we see those passives coming in. And he's super quick on the cap. The enemy has our victory All thanks now. to the secure location here. Yeah, 25%. That's neat. And Inca Una now taking up, getting ready to pump Cavalry out his. Lost, I guess it's gonna be a Crusader. Nah, I'd go Matilda versus this here. Yeah, Matilda, that ought to be fine. Very beefy heavy tank, good versus infantry, and will have no problems penetrating Elkhorn's vehicles. Though Ingona is lacking a bit of resources to pump out the Matilda. Oh, a strafing one was actually used. Okay. Victory point belongs to the enemy. Triple cap, that auto equalize the scores rapidly. And yeah, in Kaluna, he's, he's at base with all his infantry, so nobody's be out here capping the VPs. Yeah, you can't cap. And here we see another change in the recent patch. It takes significantly longer to build sandbags. A welcome change. Oh, we got it. But can he escape? I doubt it. Nope. There it is. Oh well. Uh, any revenge kill? Nope. Cancels and goes for. He's unlocking the grants. Ooh. Still think a Matilda would be just fine here, if not actually better. What kind of force Elpen to go for the Toxin Core ammunition upgrade? He has installed smoke in his vehicles. You can tell here by the extra 40 HP. And there we go. Elpen is in the lead when it comes to VPs and even army composition. I'd say, oh yeah, yeah there's a huge, almost double the pop cap here between the two players. Archer TDs ready for construction. Archer tank destroyer. Medium vehicle, extremely effective against all vehicles. Has long range, high damage, slow movement speed, and low HP. But moves faster in reverse. Can't fire on the move. So it's like a turret that you drive and park somewhere and then it just boom, 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 shoots. Okay. the guns with potential of doing 200 damage as the top turret does 80 and the main gun deals 120 
All right, Grant. Let's see what you're made of. Oh, I haven't seen Encona gone for any of his training upgrades. Victory point is in enemy hands. That would be a mistake. Anti-tank weapon and crew on the field. Hold firm. The enemy have 250 points left. More fodder for the league. Where is it anyway? There we are. Ah, uh, still has ways to go before it reaches vet two. Victory points of balance. We now have the advantage. Yeah, Elfern got a good amount of indirect fire good for countering the double AG guns. Catch the grenade! Or don't. Surely the kangaroos would win this fight here. We're losing a 100 HP. 100 HP. Yeah. It's... Yep, there we go. They won it. They wanted it and they won it. <clears throat> ah, self-repair is in. Very good. We have munitions ready to El burn primed, ready to go. Oh, they on hold fire and they got spotted. Fortunately, he didn't lose anyone, but that's only a matter of seconds. Yeah, get back to base. Oh. Well, that's not gonna help him. There's no healing in base. The enemy is down to 200 points. <laughs> yeah. A victory point is being overrun. Ooh, armored reserves. I like it. And there we are. Infantry victory training. Good. Lost. In camp. Getting his upgrades. Uh, oh. Infantry training completed. Well, he managed to clear the area and no real follow up here. Yeah, his Panzer Grenadiers, they retreated. Okay. Armored Reserves, they. That thing got a huge eco buff. As a. Uh, the t tiger was made much more affordable and i believe that all four different armor call in got a hundred manpower cost reduction and the tiger may have gotten around 80 fuel reduction cost as well plus an armor buff on the front all right Elpern, you have suffered enough it's time to get back in and he is back with a Panzer IV. Okay. The beggars are threatening a now this is a powerful Panzer IV here. 840 HP, smoke launchers, self-repair, and a top gun. Apparently. No? Yeah? No? Nope. No top gun. Victory Yet. point is in enemy hands. Saving himself. A bit of manpower there. Yeah, his assault grenadiers are not as effective due to their recent nerf. They had 10 HP removed from their vet zero status and moved to vet two, I believe. Oh man, the Grand here is just slaughtering the P4. Or no, it's kind of draw here. And my cat is doing yoga. Huh.
all quiet up here We're down to <laughs> and miraculously points. these four have not been dropped yet Ooh. nice hit on the repairing engineers and even a bounce on the side armor a rare one yeah the p4 is putting in a good amount of work here but mm, struggling with the front arm of the grand 170 versus 125 at long range a good call for the toxin core ammo here to give him a 25 percent extra penetration repairing units can over repair vehicles that are Oh health after five seconds the unit being repaired gained 120 extra hp that's an extra shot yeah that's an extra shot from a p4 as you can tell as it does 120 damage a grant medium tank is reporting in oh this could be good wow 960 hp can it reach That's kind of in the heavy tank territory. Hey, you forgot to over repair it. You are not in a rush. Well, actually, he is in a minor rush. The beggars are threatening a victory point. Oh, huge hit. Victory point under enemy The Panzer III backs out for now. Yeah, double. AG gun sitting up there, classic code 2 style. We must counter attack. Not enough resources for another bombardment. Mine triggering down there, they're gonna be okay. Most of them. Seven casualties, one kills only. Yeah. So far they've been acting as dead weight. <laughs> This war has not been kind to them. And Elburn is in retreat here, getting pushed back by the Grants. He he lacks his own pack, which got destroyed. Oh dear. Snip snip. Yeah, he got too close to the sun and got burned. Engine damage. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, that should this give Elper a little bit of breathing room, and he needs he needs to catch his breath now and get a VP under his control. Oh no! Oh no! At least he's got the self repair here. But I believe he does not have the rapid advance, which would allow his vehicles to capture territory. It's just because it's so difficult to get when your manpower income is this low. Oh man, there are just a million mines planted here by Inca Una. <laughs> Alright, you men. You got this point. Uh, getting a little dicey. Too dicey. Uh oh, we are in dicey territory now. Using a tank here, not enough to call in that artillery piece. There we go, bombardment. Artillery cover inbound. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yes, sir. More. Give me more. <laughs> Okay, that was a pretty good play here by Elpern. Jerry's run out of steam. They're down to their last 25 points. Oh no, only 25 points. He's 
Oh, what? Did he just get it? I think he just did. Rapid advance is in, baby. Uh oh. Yeah, this turret here is keeping up with the Panzer. And tiny turret saves the day. Oh, and he's gonna manage to get this thing back. Ah, my screech. The circle. Our victory point is being overrun. Oh, go, go. Go, 250 slash 9, kick canon. Victory point under enemy. <laughs> Yikes. You can do it! Cap that point! It, yeah, now he just needs to hold out for two minutes. <laughs> no stress. <laughs> no. Uh, he'll soon be able to call in an OP4. And oh boy, he needs that. Oh no. Oh no. An Elpern has lost too much infantry. He cannot defend both points at the same time, uh, let alone all three. Mm. There we go. Go, Panzerfeer! Uh, this thing here is useless. The cannon. It does nothing versus the infantry. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, they got it. Decap. Almost a triple cap. Man, is the 250 losing? Yeah, they're already gone. Inkaluna calls the GG. GG here. Oh, what a close finish. Good stuff. Excellent uh, play here by uh, both players. And uh, what a dramatic push that we saw here made by Elpern. Oh, yeah. That was good. And if you like what you saw, click that like button down there. It's glowing just for you. And uh, yeah, consider subscribing. Yeah. Until next time, you wonderful people. Take care. Bye.